This is the history of experimental psychology. Experimental psychology can be defined as the scientific and empirical approach to the study of the mind. It is also concerned with the testing theories of human thoughts, feelings, actions, and beyond any aspects of being human that involves the mind. What is the history of experimental psychology? Shani, in 1879, the first experimental psychology lab was founded in Leipzig, Germany. Modern experimental psychology dates back to the establishment of the very first psychology laboratory by pioneering psychologist Wilhelm Wundt during the late 19th century. Experimental psychology emerged as a modern academic discipline in the 19th century when Wilhelm Wundt introduced a mathematical and experimental approach to the field. Wundt founded the first psychology laboratory in Leipzig, Germany. What is the beginning of experimental psychology? Modern psychology began with the adoption of experimental methods at the end of 19th century. Wilhelm Wundt established the first formal laboratory in 1879. Universities created independent chairs in psychology shortly thereafter, and William James published the landmark work Principles of Psychology in 1890. What is the purpose of experimental psychology? Using scientific methods to learn more about the mind and cognitive processes, experimental psychologists study topics that include sensation, perception, memory, cognition, learning, motivation, emotion, and developmental processes. What do I need to learn in experimental psychology? Programs in experimental psychology are designed to train students to design studies, conduct empirical research, and understand ethical issues in research. Typically, experimental psychologists need at minimum master's degree in general or experimental psychology. Experiments provides us with knowledge of the physical world. And it is experiments that provides the evidence that grounds this knowledge. Experiments plays many rules in science. One of its important rules is to test the theories and to provide the basis for scientific knowledge. Before I forget, who is the father of the exper experimental psychology? William Wundt, acclaimed as the father of experimental psychology. He established the first psychological research and teaching laboratory within the philosophy department at Leipzig in around 1876. Did you know, guys, that not just psychologists are involved, it has also philosophers involved in this field, and one of those are Aristotle and Plato. What about Plato and Aristotle? Yes, true. Plato and Aristotle adopted a philosophical and abstract approach to defining human behavior and the structure of the mind. But that was not the only contribution of the Hellenistic philosophers. Unlike Aristotle, who saw the heart as the seat of thought and reason, Hippocrates understood the importance of the brain. I, Plato, proposed that the human psyche was the seat of all knowledge, and that the human mind was imprinted with all of the knowledge it needed. As a result, learning was a matter of unlocking and utilizing this inbuilt knowledge, a process I called anamnesis. In metaphysics, Plato envisioned a systematic, rational treatment of the forms and their interrelations, starting with the most fundamental among them, the good or the one. In ethics and moral psychology, he developed the view that the good life requires not just a certain kind of knowledge, as Socrates had suggested. In my famous work, The Republic, I further developed this idea and first proposed the idea that the mind consisted of three interwoven parts called the tripartite mind, the logisticon. This was the intellect, the seat of reasoning and logic, the thomas. This was the spiritual center of the mind and dictated emotions and feelings, the epithometicon. This governed desires and appetites. According to Plato, 
the healthy mind discovered a balance between the three parts and an over reliance upon these parts led to the expression of personality for example gluttony and selfishness could be explained by a dominance of ibito mythicon letting desire govern behavior aristotle building upon the work of the early philosophers and their studies into mind reasoning and thoughts wrote the first known text in history and psychology called Parasite about the mind in this landmark work. I am Aristotle laid out the first tenets of the study of reasoning that would determine the direction of the history of psychology. Many of my proposals continue to influence modern psychologies. Oh, I see. What a great knowledge. And did you know that Plato proposed that the origins of structure and function lie in the organism's nature, whereas Aristotle proposed that they lie in its nurture? This nature-nurture dichotomy and the emphasis on the origins question has had a powerful effect on our thinking about development right into modern times. And also, in psychology, Descartes is the most known for his concept of dualism. Descartes' theory of dualism suggests that there are two realms to existence. The first is the physical realm, which is the environment and the things around us. I, René Descartes, the first to write of the concept of emotions in my famous quotation, I think Therefore, I am elucidated my focus on the importance of cognition and the human experience. In psychology, I myself is most known for my concept of dualism. Wow, Elia, I just can't believe that those philosophers have huge contribution upon shaping experimental psychology. Exactly, Sean. We just can't believe. I can't wait to explore more and acquire a knowledge about it all. Well, if you want more about this field, I would share something more about it. If you want. Really? Okay. The main goal of experimental psychology is they seek to explore and better understand behavior through empirical research methods. In experimental psychology, for example, researchers could perform a study to look at whether sleep deprivation impairs performance on a driving test. The experimenter could control for other variables that might influence the outcome, but then vary the amount of sleep that participants get that night before a driving test. Wow, I think this would be very reliable. That is why experimental psychology is important because the findings discovered by psychologists play a vital role in our understanding of the human mind and behavior. By better understanding exactly what makes people tick, psychologists and other mental health professionals are able to explore new approaches to treating psychological distress and mental illness. I am Plato. I am Aristotle. I am René Descartes. I am Sean Yulu. I am Rulio Nomo. And I am Ilya Tangara. And that, that was the history, history of experimental, experimental psychology. psychology. Thank, Thank you. you.